great Monday night of football here on our network, ABC, where the Lord God intended football to be on Monday nights. Remember when Monday night football was only on ABC? Now it's everywhere. It's like Chick-fil-A. You can get it anywhere you want. <laughs> Welcome to those who are too lazy to turn off the TV after the 1-1 one one Washington Commanders took on the 0-2 Cincinnati Bengals. We got the best matchups. It's, um... <laughs> you know, while most of America is watching football and going to church over the weekend, Donald Trump was very busy truthing. Uh, here's a sampling of the subjects he covered this weekend. Oprah, who he's mad at because she hosted an event for Kamala Harris. He wrote, a long time ago, Oprah Winfrey asked me to do her last network television show. The final week of her show was a big deal, and it was my honor with my family to do it. That is untrue. He was not on her final show <laughs> or her final week. He was on three and a half months before her final show. But he followed that up with, I saved flavored vaping in 2019. <laughs> And it greatly helped people get off smoking. I raised the age to 21, keeping it away from the kids. Kamala and Joe want everything banned, killing small businesses all over the country. I'll save vaping again. <laughs> That's not true either, but, you know, he says it... He, write, he says it with such conviction. He's a convicted vapist, you know, and of course... <laughs> We later learned he had a financial reason for this sudden interest in pina colada-flavored cigarettes. Trump <laughs> vows to save vaping after a private meeting with vaping lobbyists. So on Friday, Darth Vapor was up until almost midnight, <laughs> banging his baby carrot nubs into his phone to produce this masterpiece of fiction. Women are poorer than they were four years ago, are less healthy than they were four years ago, are less safe on the streets than they were four years ago, are more depressed and unhappy than they were four years ago, and less optimistic and confident in the future than they were four years ago. I will fix all of that and fast, and at long last, this national nightmare will be over. <laughs> Just, I know, this reads like a, like a suicide pact, like that. Uh, <laughs> And then he switches into hypnotist mode. You will no longer be thinking about abortion. <laughs> I will protect women at a level never seen before. They will finally be healthy, hopeful, safe, and secure. Their lives will be happy, beautiful, and great again. And if you don't believe it, ask my wife, Melania, who every night prays I drive my golf cart into a lagoon. <laughs> this is, I mean, what a thing. <laughs> position to take. And if there's anyone who knows how to make women feel happy and hopeful, why, it's this gentleman right here. <laughs> you know, you can't spell leave me alone without L-O-V-E, folks. <laughs> He's also been yelling at Jewish voters, saying if he loses the election, they will be to blame, which is good. Finally, someone's blaming the Jewish people for things. <laughs> He is, he's dumb, he's ignorant, and arrogant. He's, um, he's ignorant-arrogant is what he, He's an ignorant is what he is. <laughs> Jewish voters don't need Donald Trump to guilt them for the decisions they make. That's what Jewish mothers are for, okay? <laughs> but with all these crazy thoughts bouncing around in his head, All Caps Kangaroo still made time to share something incredible. Hello, everyone. I have something incredible to share today. Well, well what could it be? <laughs> That health care plan you've been promising for eight years? You're finally going to release your tax returns? What, he tested positive for syphilis? We are announcing the launch of Trump Coins, a true symbol of American greatness. Wait, what was that? We are announcing the launch of Trump Coins, a true symbol of American greatness. Even he doesn't sound sure. A <laughs> true symbol of American greatness? The Trump Coin, it should be noted, costs $100. It contains $31 worth of silver. And what captures the essence of Donald Trump more than charging the fans who love him most? Three times more than a coin is worth. $100 for a Chuck E. Cheese token with his head on it. Each coin comes with a certificate of authenticity with my signature to ensure you have purchased a real Trump coin. I've seen a lot of coins out there using my very beautiful face. I'm a very beautiful guy, I'm only kidding but they are not the official coin. Yeah, no one has ever been less kidding than he was when he said that. <laughs> the coin is the only officially licensed Donald J. Trump silver medallion on the market. I like that it's made of silver. It's the perfect gift to send him when he comes in second in November. But the claim is... <laughs> coins were... These coins were designed by President Trump himself. <laughs> I'm sure he was up with, for days with his sketch pad toiling over the... Until he finally went, I know, I know, I'll put my big fat head on the front. 
I call this pose the thoughtful gorilla. <laughs> we are in the final stretch of the election when the candidates are supposed to be making their final push to run this country, and this nut's having a yard sale. He's selling <laughs> so many things. I feel like there should be a law that says you can either sell coins or bitcoins, but not both, and certainly not both in the same week. You have to make a choice. And then you have Melania, who's hawking a $600 vote freedom necklace right now with Lady Liberty on the front and nothing behind it, just like <laughs> Melania herself. Melania has been raking it in. According to their latest financial disclosure form, I was surprised they filed them too, but according to their disclosure form, back in April, Melania was paid $237,500 for giving a speech to the log cabin Republicans at Mar-a-Lago. She got a quarter of a million dollars for giving a speech at her house. But when you hear her speak, when she opens her mouth, you realize how worth it it is. It's, she says, the log cabin Republicans is a very confused LGBTQ group. The event was a success. They raised a bunch of money. Everyone went home with a top secret document. It was good. And on top of that, Melania has been plugging her forthcoming memoir, which includes this harrowing tale from the night of their 16th anniversary when Donald was suddenly in the mood for love. The loud knocking on my door sent a jolt through my body. The Secret Service agent told me I need to move. Fortunately, they were able to get her out in time. And Melania has... We haven't seen her with Donald for weeks now. He's been on the road. He was back in D.C. at a meeting of the Israeli-American Council, and you'll never guess what he's still talking about. I won that debate by a lot. <laughs> uh, by a lot. You know, I walked off the stage, I said, man, did I beat her, even though I was against three people. He's still going, he's still trying to convince himself he won that debate. So emphatically, in fact, he's refusing to get beat up again. They would like to do another debate. She's done one debate, I've done two. It's too late to do another. I'd love to in many ways, but it's too late. The voting is cast. No, it isn't. <laughs> The voting is not cast. The voting happens on November 5th. There's plenty of time to debate. In 2020, his last debate of the election was October 22nd. This debate would be October 23rd, but it's too late. I, have, I can't debate, I have coins to sell to people. <laughs> Kamala Harris tweeted she would gladly accept another debate for the same reason the Cookie Monster would gladly accept a, a DoorDash from Famous Amos, but <laughs> Trump is on to bigger things now. Donnie Appleseed was in Wilmington, North Carolina on Saturday where he continued to workshop some new supermarket material. People can't afford the groceries. I told the story the other day, a woman, sort of elderly woman who was sad, goes up to the counter, register, puts three apples on and then realizes she can't afford it and she took one apple, brought it back into the refrigeration. Not only is that not true, <laughs> he thinks they refrigerate apples at the supermarket. <laughs> yeah, they're right there next to the Monster Energy drink. When do you think was the last time Donald Trump had an apple? What are two things you do to stay healthy? Well, I used to play golf a little bit. That gave me, so I don't know, but it seems to be quite a dangerous sport in retrospect. Uh, I try and eat properly. I try, I do the I best, and I try and get some. Oh. I do, but, but, but proper hamburgers. <laughs> proper hamburgers, right. Prescription hamburgers, the ones. His nutritionist is the grimace, and he gives them the best, most proper hamburgers. Trump's very focused on hamburgers, so much so he still can't believe that Kamala Harris worked at McDonald's. She worked over the french fries. It was so hot. The heat, the heat, it was so hot. She'd burn her hand every once in a while on the grease. Oh, McDonald's. She, she took his dream job and he can't stand it. Meanwhile, and we have Trump's buddy RFK Jr. embroiled in a new sexting scandal with a high-profile reporter named Olivia Nuzzi. Olivia Nuzzi was put on leave from New York Magazine, where she works, for not disclosing she had what they call a personal relationship with RFK, whom she covered on the campaign trail. The story says Kennedy was bragging to his friends that Nuzzi sent shots of herself nude, which are the only shots he will get, by the way. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> Nuzzy claims the relationship was not physical. She was mostly attracted to the worm in his brain. And then <laughs> there's a relatively new character in the mix, Mark Robinson. This, he's running for governor of North Carolina. Uh, this is Mark with the, the man who called him Martin Luther King on steroids. Trump's a big fan of Mark Robinson. Now, CNN uncovered messages that they say Robinson posted on a porn site called Nude Africa. You ever been on Nude Africa, Guillermo? No, never. No? No, never. Okay, well, <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> CNN says he wrote some very creepy stuff on the Nude Africa message board, including referring to himself as a black Nazi, which is shocking. I mean... Who knew porn sites had message boards? I didn't, but <laughs> almost everyone working for his campaign resigned today. He only has three staffers left. Luckily, he's on a lot of message boards, so he can find a lot of qualified applicants for those positions. But this guy is a real scumbag. He called the Holocaust hogwash. He made anti-gay statements after the nightclub shooting in Orlando. He called women who breastfeed in public shameless attention hogs and called the teenagers who survived Parkland spoiled little bastards. And Donald Trump endorsed him after those things and still hasn't withdrawn his endorsement, even though we now have all of this. The profile on Nude Africa lists your full name as Mark Robinson. The email listed on the uh, account is an email that you used, used, you have used elsewhere on the internet, including with your photo. Think about what's going on on our border. <laughs> Think about what's going on on the yes. world stage. Yes. And this is what you, this is what you uh, choose to focus on. Yeah. <laughs> and where is Kanye when you need him, by the way? <laughs> Nowhere to be found. Do you believe him that those were not his posts? Uh, I, I don't not believe him. I don't believe him. I just think that you have to let these things sometimes play out in the court of public opinion. Right. Forget the truth. Let's wait and find out what the people think. And then we'll decide what we think. Now, if, excuse me, I have a dog eater to catch. <laughs> J.D. Vance wasn't much help there. But you know who is in Ro Mark Robinson's corner? None other than the pillow man himself, Mr. Mike Lindell. You give that back! That belonged to my grandpappy! The darn goat took my wristwatch. <laughs> Hi, it's me again, Mike Lindell, founder of my pillow, and the only person who got kicked by a horse at the Minnesota State Fair twice. I want to bend your ear for a sec so I can proudly endorse current Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina, Mark Robinson, for governor of the Tar Heel State. Mark ain't afraid to say anything that whatsoever that pops into his head. Like when he said it's time to start reading quotes from Hitler and Stalin. Or the time he said slavery ain't so bad and he's a black Nazi and that women who breastfeed in public are attention hogs. Or how hot it was when his wife's sister did a number one on his tummy. I mean, that's a bit much. Mark really wants your vote, but, but only the fellas. That's why he said he would absolutely want to go back to the America where women couldn't vote. And, you know, he makes a good point. If women is menstruating, they could lure bears to a polling place. Now that's dangerous. Don't you worry about it, sweetheart. Don't you look at me with those patches. Mark Robinson said the movie Black Panther was created by Jewish satanic communists to take money from black people. Hang on, I gotta work that one out. The communists are trying to take the money from the black people. Ha! Enough about what Mark thinks. Let's talk about what he don't think. He don't think we landed on the moon, or the terrorists did 9-11. He don't think the Holocaust happened, and he don't think Bill Cosby is guilty. Wait, is there another Bill Cosby? Ah, great gravy, this guy's nutsoy. And it's coming from me, a feller who sleeps in a garage full of pillows with the Chrysler running. Ah, hell. I guess just stay home on election day. I'm pulling the endorsement. Oh, oh, God forbid, I can't even believe I'm saying I suppose. Just vote for the baby eating Democrat. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. <laughs>